So I thought I'd make a video and possibly a series for you guys where I just tell you everything that's going on with the channel, upcoming videos, and also these things that are all on my mind. So this is the Yes Vlog. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Air City. This is Brian coming back to you guys today with kind of like a new series possibly. If you guys like it, then make sure you let me know in the comment section below where I just tell you, well, really everything that's going on in the channel at the moment. So you're probably wondering what all these boxes are in the background. That's what I'm going to explain. And then I'm also going to talk about some things that in recent videos and stuff that I stuff that's on my mind basically so first things first this bad boy here this is the 980 ti and i picked this up in electric city for a pretty good price i mean when you compare it to america so i got it for around 900 aud or 90,000 yen which is a little bit over 700 usd and it has a custom cooler on it which is what i was looking for so it was pretty much a hundred dollars cheaper than any other 980 ti i could get in japan and that was even reference coolers. So I was after an aftermarket cooling solution, and that's great. And it's got a mouse mat included, so <laughs> that's the selling point, I guess. But it's from Inno3D, and I've actually never tried a Gravis card from Inno3D, and I don't see many reviews, so it's great to give sort of the underdog a chance and see how they perform. So I'm really looking forward to giving you guys this video where I'm going to be comparing it to the GDX 970 G1, then out of the box settings and overclock settings at 1440p and 4K, and we'll see how it goes. So that will, that shall be interesting because I'll see how high this graphics card goes, but it looks pretty cool already. So I actually haven't opened it yet. I teased it on Twitter, 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 <laughs> Twitter early before. So if you guys want, you can check me out on Twitter too for the latest updates and where I'm just constantly, not constantly, but I'm kind of casually tweeting stuff out and letting you guys know updates about stuff. <laughs> this is the casual vlog. I'm not cutting this at all. So uh, let's keep moving on here. This is the SHP 9500s from Philips. Now I am, I guess if I'm a fanboy of something, I'm a fanboy of Philips house sound. I mean, every Philips pair of headphones I've had come through here so far has been really good. I just love their house sound. It's like a warm sound where you've got good bass, you've got good mids coming through, and the treble is always just seems to be just right with Philips headphones. The X1s had good treble. These have good treble. And then the L1s, they have good treble as well. Like, they're not overpowering, but they're present. And so these have that same sort of sound signature. <laughs> Almost dropped the box. Uh, but one thing I will get out of the way is, is that they're no X1. Like, people are comparing these to the X1, and I think the X1s are just on that different level still. I mean, they're very good for the money, extremely good. I mean, you can pick them up for like 50 USD and they're an absolute bargain at that price. They kind of compare to the L1s, though the L1s have a little bit more richer bass, which I prefer as well. Though stay tuned for a review because these things coupled with the V-Motor Boom Pro, man, they're amazing. So next thing we've got here, I'm gonna do like some Michael Jordan backflip here. Uh, we've got here an X99 Extreme 6 3.1. Now I've actually finished up the review for this I just have to do uh, all the video editing. And it's like, <laughs> video editing is like the hardest part of doing YouTube videos for you guys. I'm just like, Ugh, five hours, just straight in front of a monitor editing a video. So that's how long it takes me to uh, roughly edit a video review, like a motherboard review. It's about 15 minutes long, I guess, or something be round about that, I guess, I'm guessing. So stay tuned for that. And another good thing about this motherboard is I'm going to be giving it away for you guys. So stay tuned for that. I'll be announcing more details in the near future about this giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Now, next thing up here, we've got the Sound Blaster E5 from Creative. And now they sent this, there goes the box, but they sent me this over as a review sample. And man, I'm impressed. Like this is creative, well, being creative. So that's awesome. So I'm really impressed with this so far. I'm going to be reviewing it for you guys. Uh, though it's really interesting to see creative are getting on their game I mean, especially when I tried some of their products before and I thought they were kind of mediocre This however on the other hand is a really good product. So I'm going to be reviewing that soon I've actually done all the b-roll. I've just got to get that out the way the actual review done So last but not least we'll move on to the Fidelio L1s. I actually have a spare pair of these I found these buried in my house and I'm going to be giving these away so not in the near future, I'll be giving away the Extreme 6 in the near future, but I'll be probably doing a review like, because I actually don't think I've done a review on these, and so I will 
compare these in a review, maybe a headphone shootout, a Philips in-house headphone shootout. That'd be pretty cool. So let me know if you want to see that. So that'd be interesting. Or if you just want to see the SHP 9500 review. So let me know in the description below. So anyway, let's move on now to the next section. And this is where everything's on my mind. And I've got to tell you guys some extra thoughts about uh, videos that I recently did, especially. So I recently did the NVIDIA control panel video, and that was met with a lot of positive feedback. So thank you guys for that. Uh, a lot of people asked me about uh, anti-aliasing and asked me to do a video explaining all the different types of anti-aliasing. So I might do that in the near future after I get all these boxes out of here and reviewed uh, and some other videos too but that's definitely on the list to do so thanks for that also uh, overclocking monitors and one thing with that I will say with overclocking monitors is be very careful one thing I didn't say in the video yesterday or two days ago was that if you're overclocking a monitor make sure that you're not getting skipping frames so this will rear its ugly head in the real world uh, in the form of you're not seeing what's happening, but it's actually registering. So if you're in an FPS game, uh, for instance, you may be shooting a gun, uh, but you can't see the bullets, but your enemies died. And so that'll, that'll mean your frames are skipping. So uh, if you're in a MOBA, for example, like Dota 2, and you're a hero like Tusk, you'll be shooting out some ice shards, and you won't see the ice shards on your screen, but they will register and they will actually hit the enemy. So that's something to be careful of there. If you're getting skipping frames, you may wish to check your settings in game and make sure that the actual game is registering the refresh rate of your monitor and also that your settings are not skipping. You can do it on browsers, but I find browsers can be, those browser tests can be buggy and may not actually show if your frames are skipping or not. And if you are getting f skipping frames after overclocking your monitor, and you can't do anything about it, then you just wanna revert back to your original settings. That's probably the best thing to do there. Uh, though I will look into it a lot more for you guys though, just be careful of skipping frames. Uh, also as for MSAA and SMAA, they're my two favorite forms of anti-aliasing at the moment. And thanks for the insight provided about MFAA from the guys in the comments. And I will be also, yeah, doing those reviews for you guys very soon. So if you like this kind of yes vlog uh, setup thing, then be sure to give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, and if you want to check me out on social media, then be sure to click or just check me out on Twitter. I'll put the handle there somewhere so you can check it out. And also stay tuned for Tech Gaming Weekly, where I'm going to be doing that with Joker very soon. Um, today in America and tomorrow in Australia. So stay tuned for that. And I look forward to seeing you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.